Hello guys, this is Pap from Bad back at it again and today we are with uh, we are here with Master Duel and I just wanted to uh, show you a quick guide and actually a fun replay to watch uh, for this Xyz exhibition event. Um, as you as you know if you already saw my review on the event it has a lot of gems to, uh, there are a lot of gems to get honestly, so you should play definitely that, uh, this event, but a lot of you maybe might miss, uh, you know, enough cards to build an Xyz deck, but this is not a problem. Why it is not? Because, um, and this was one of the points that, that made this uh, uh, event interesting, is that you have a loner deck. Uh, that you can use, you can uh, choose among three. Uh, I already uh, show you these guys, but um, what I want to do today is just to um, actually show you, just show you a little guide to use the Raptor Evolution Loner deck, how to play it, and then I'm gonna show you a replay, a fun replays uh, where I lost because of I think an action because at, the, at some point the. The duel just says that I surrendered, but it was not true. I was just about to win, but it was a nice uh, replay to show you. It was just against Utopia, one of the best Xyz deck we've got right now, um, with some negation, so it is really cool. Uh, but before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So I'm here with Raptor Evolution and this is the deck, the loner deck for the, um, <clears throat> sorry, the Raid Raptors. So keep in mind guys that when you use this loner deck, you cannot modify them. You can just use as they are. You cannot change cards um, um, as long as, uh, until the, uh, actually, you, you could change cards. But only if you have all these cards and actually build a deck of your own. So you can just, you know, copy this and then change it, but I do not have the card, so uh, I'm just about, I, I'm just using this as it is. So, quick guide, we've got uh, some staple back row, so nothing special to say about this. Uh, like, this is really cool, uh, simply a special summon from the grave, and then this is only for uh, Xyz monster body. We have this card in dual leagues, like, yeah. Uh, and this mm, is good because when you special summon it, then you can attach this card as, as Xyz material so that's fine then we've got among the stable we've got twin twisters double really cool to uh, get rid of back rows double darko really nice um one lightning storm and then we've got in total four rank up magic rate four so these can you you can use these uh, cards to uh, on one on your raid raptor to uh, if you have your exceeds uh, rank four you can use this one to increase its rank by one and basically summon the uh, rank five as you can see right here or you can use this one to increase its rank by two actually summon an exceeds monster with two ranks higher uh, and you can go into a raid raptor these guys uh, that is pretty good um, and the, the last guy is really hard to summon because you need to have a double this you yeah, need to have uh, two of the rank up magic sk uh, skip force um, or you can use one and then you can use the effect of uh, this guy right here the necro vulture to tribute one raid raptor, ra uh, one raid raptor monster and target one rank up magic spell in the graveyard and recycle adding it back to your hand so there are a couple of ways, but basically um, uh, the usual, the only Xyz summon you're gonna, you're gonna do is this little guy right here and the highest is this guy usually. So let's see how this basically works. You uh, always want to have a uh, Fuzzy Lanius in your hand because this guy uh, or a, um, a Vanishing Lanius just because these two guys allow you to uh, Xyz summon. Why? Let's see. Uh, the Vanishing Lanius it's simply because um, when you summon him you can just use its effect and special summon a level 4 or lower raid raptor from your hand so that's really um, uh, easy and straight and the other uh, the other guy is Fusilanius. this is even better because if you control raid raptor so let's just suppose you normally summon one raid raptor and you have this guy in your hand you can special summon him with, uh, with its own effect and what is good is that when this guy is sent at graveyard you can add one of these um, uh, another one of these from your deck to your hand so an usual combo will be to summon in any any raid raptor then special summon this guy go into your rank 4 or 4 streaks use the effect the touching one and you want to detach the Fuzzy Lanius. so if you detach the Fuzzy Lanius, you're gonna get the effect of the four strikes to add a winged beast 
from your deck to your hand and then <clears throat> You get the effect of Lanius to have one other copy of this from your deck to your hand, so it's pretty nice. So it's a plus two. Um, and uh, also, what you want to have with your first tricks, you have two choices. You basically can add a Lanius to have another XC summon next turn, or you can add, I usually go for uh, the Booster tricks. That is a very good hand trap. When you raid Raptor Monster, you can really start getting from an attack. You can badge this card from your hand and destroy the attacking monster. So this is very good against um, Numeron. I've um, I've met a lot of Numeron OTK decks. They can just uh, they usually. Uh, clear your back rows with wherever they have a lightning storm or a um, Herpes Feather Duster uh, and then they attack with their their field spell, they summon the four guys and they attack and they double their attack every attack, they double their attack points every attack but you can just stop the combo with your boost with your booster streaks right here so that is pretty nice then we've got the uh, singing lanes, this is actually uh, these other ones are, are a little bit worse. This guy can be special summoned only if you control Nixie's monster, so it's actually a second turn play. Or uh, Necrovulture instead is to recycle your rank up magic. And then the Avenger Vulture instead is just to um, to summon if you take damage during your opponent's turn. Kind of an trap to avoid OT being OTK, so nothing special, nothing that bad. Then we've got the Hand Trap, as I told you, really good. And the uh, Rudder Strix instead. Not really that good. He has a defensive effect, but I never really use that. Uh, and also, the only the only other thing is that he can you can inflict 600 damage to your opponent if this card is a normal special summon from your hand. So that's that's okay, but nothing special. Um, and uh, then for the rank up. You have this guy, the Blaze Falcon, that is pretty nice because he can attack directly if you have Xyz material and once he inflicts damage you can uh, pop one monster your opponent controls. Uh, also he has a, a nice non-targeting um, uh, destruction effect for all the special summon monsters, so it is, pre it is pretty good. But the best one that you will see at work uh, in the duel is the Revolution Falcon because this guy can attack all your monster your opponent controls by detaching one and if he attacks at a, um, uh, a, a special summon monster he basically reduces the attack and defense to zero so it is pretty good um, and he has also another effect without detaching that is to pop a monster and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack the, most, the, um, the monster had on the field so it is pretty nice the other level 4 I never used that just because uh, it's not a, a turn one play, just, you know, like a second turn play, but the other one is that your opponent needs to control a, a special summon monster to gain the attack and then he just uh, does nothing else, basically. So guys, that was all for the explanation. If you have some questions, of course, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and we can jump right into the replay. Here we go, my boys, this is it. So as I told you, I actually lost, but I don't know why if it was some... A connection problem or anything else so uh, but I, of course I had the, <clears throat> the duel in my hand so he's got the double sage double sage summon this guy the, Asc the ascended sage to summon the utopia double that uh, will let him have a double or nothing card to his end and also he's gonna have a couple of cards because of the effect of ascended sage uh, to have the rank up magic normal spell card from the deck to his end um, also because of the um, uh, Zexal field, he, I cannot target or change anything. Not not that I have something, but you know, just to. Uh, he's got the Utopia with double attack, but he's gonna actually XC summon on it with Utopia Prime and then rank up, um, hyper rank up magic to go into number 99. Wait, what? <laughs> into um, a Utopia, what's the name? Utopia double like Utopia Dragonair, sorry. Uh, and this is actually good because I cannot attack into this because if I attack into this he can just change the attack to zero uh, Also, he can detach to a special summon from the extra deck a number monster between 1 and 100 so that is actually pretty nice and um, But when he uses this effect he cannot attack, but it is first turn so these um, this advantage uh, it's not important so he's got this guy to summon it is number 38 uh, Hope Herbinger Dragon, Titanic Galaxy, there's a long name, and this is actually bad to deal with because once per turn when a spell card or its effect is activated, you can negate that. Uh, and um, also you can gain attack if Phoenix's monster uh, is 
destroyed when it's on the field. Now, in, the, in this first turn, I misplayed, as you can see right here, because I could have just uh, used Lightning Storm first, let him actually negate that, and then go with my stuff, because I have my rank up magic raid, I could have gone into um, the... This is for just one, right? Yes. I could have gone into this guy and... <clears throat> Uh, destroy everything and uh, inflict damage, but I I don't know why I did in this. Uh, I just went with the Raider after summon, inflicting 600 damage, then a special summon of the um, Fizzy Lanis, uh, going into four streaks. Um, then, as you can see right here, the combo, the touching one to have the vanishing Lanis, and because I detached the I detached the Fizzy Lanis, I can add with its own effect another one from the for the deck to my hand. Um, then I went with rank up magic, but of course he's got the negation. So that was why uh, it was a misplay. I should have gone. I should have done everything in the same way. But the first thing that I should have done is, was to use lightning storm, basically. So I, I've got my back to the front, and then use the effect of the uh, Utopia uh, Dragoner uh, once again to summon Utopia, as you can see right here, and then uh, all this stuff with the Fields effect to uh, basically. Uh, um, add um, actually, to recycle, uh, to attach Nixie's monster from the extra deck to the group to, to, to this monster. So he's got another rank up magic spell to go into Utopia Ray. This time, this guy can just pop. Uh, he can attach one and pop my monster, as you can see right here. So, and I take damage equal to the attack. Thanks to this, I could use the effect of Avenge Vulture to have another defense. And then he's just summoned this guy in attack position because he wanted to have lethal. But luckily for me, I got another monster. I've got my back to the front, so I'm chilling. He can just attack at this point. Uh, but he has no lethal. He has 6,000 damage. Uh, but I'm still alive. At this point, I make the, you know, my place in the correct order. As you can see right here, first Lightning Storm to let him negate. Um, choose its one negate, um, and that's fine. But this point, as long as this is nothing, we're chilling because we can just uh, summon the um, vanishing Lenis, use the effect to special summon this guy. But we could have uh, we could have not used the effect and summon Lenis by its own effect. I decided I decided not to. We got four tricks. Uh, first six, as you can see, to the touch one, had a this time the hand trap, then fizzy lenis to add another one to my hand. But this time, ha I have the other rank up that is two ranks higher, so this becomes even better. So, as you can see right here, he wastes his negate actually, not waste, but he already used this negate. So, I can use the rank up to go into this guy, I can detach one to make him attack, uh, attack all the monsters my opponent controls once hitch. And keep in mind that we attack uh, that when he attacks the uh, um, special summon monster he makes his attack and defense zero but we have to be careful because this guy when we attack this guy can change my attack to zero so what I did is to use the other effect to pop that use the effect to pop that so it cannot change my attack to zero then this guy gains attack but we do not care because when he attack it just went to zero and here comes another misplay guys because I could have just special summoned my Fuzzilanius with its own effect because it's the first time I special summon him with the effect of the other guy so I could have special summoned him to have other extra 500 that, was, that were actually needed. Uh, so as you can see right here, I can just attack everyone, make the attack to zero, uh, just because this guy was not special summoned, so uh, the attack is not reduced to zero. That was my misplay, and if I had had the Fezilenius in attack position, I would have won, basically. Um, but anyway, he's, he basically has got nothing, because as you can see, he just went straight to the end phase, and as soon as I begin my duel, I draw Man face, and then boom. I don't know why I surrendered. I was, it was, uh, I guess, a, 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 a problem of connection. I don't know what, honestly. But of course, as you can see, I had little right here. So it was actually a nice replay. So guys, uh, as I told you, if you have some question about the, um, uh, the deck list or some moves or plays, don't be afraid to ask. I'm here to help. Uh, so guys, that was all for today's videos. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.